always with the questions. What will people say? Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son? What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman, hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter. This could be the Venatori. Lure us somewhere remote than an ambush. Perhaps. Although this does look like my father's penmanship. Or could he have joined the Venatori? No, that can't. Well, anything is possible. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. Let's go meet this retainer then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Let's look around. Joining up soon, you worship. Yes, Thank you for yes, all you've sir. done. Blessings upon the Inquisition. Anything you need, I can get.
Are you sure? We all do. Blessings upon your position. Good day. Uh-oh. Nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the Dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. Considering you lied to get him here, Dorian has every right to be furious. You don't know the half of it. But maybe you should. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then? Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind, the perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration, is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. Then walk away, Dorian. You already did that once, didn't you? I agree, let's go. There's nothing more to be gained here. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you. Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. I think it's time we left. I agree. He's a good man, my father, deep down. He taught me principle is important. He cares for me in his way, but he won't ever change. I can't forgive him for what he did. I won't. He tried to change you. Out of desperation. 
I wouldn't put on a show, marry the girl, keep everything unsavory, private and locked away. Selfish, I suppose, not to want to spend my entire life screaming on the inside. He was going to do a blood ritual, alter my mind, make me acceptable. I found out, I left. What your father did was wrong. It's too bad he'll never understand why. Thank you for bringing me out there. Even if it didn't work out. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. Something you need? I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. And calling the army of demons? That's my favorite part. The demons are nothing. They're a tool. A tool that would have let Corypheus ride roughshod over most of Orlais. Even if they hadn't, the entire idea is wrong. The Blight is not something one smugly outsmarts. Forgive me. The entire idea is unnerving. What do you need? Are you ever concerned that you've turned your back on your people? I have done no such thing. I simply see no way to help the elves, oppressed as they are now. The man who has lived half his life in the Fade has no ideas? Not unless we collapse the Veil and bring the Fade here so I can casually reshape reality, no. You're a mage! And you were the Inquisitor. You could order Halam Shara return to the Dalish if you wished. But ultimately you know that would fail. That even you cannot solve this. Why attack me for knowing that as well? Because you've given up, and I haven't. I'll find a way to help elves, with or without your help. And in all sincerity, I wish you luck. For my part, I will do what I can. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, 